dieta. Bom, eu não faço nenhuma dieta específica. O que eu faço é comer coisas que são vivas. Eu acho que uma, uma dieta baseada em plant-based, eu diria que eu não, não como muito processados, eu faço tudo em casa, eu gosto de, de comer muita fruta, verduras, uh, carne, peixe, eu como de tudo, na verdade. Só que, para mim, o mais importante é evitar alimentos processados. Porque eu acho que tudo que vem da, da natureza e tudo que é orgânico é muito melhor para o nosso corpo. E, e eu sinto isso, eu sinto a diferença na energia do meu corpo quando eu me alimento assim. Então, para mim, os alimentos mais naturais possíveis e que eu também acho que são os mais deliciosos. Ok, if I could give one advice, I would say take care of your temple, take care of your body, your mind, your body, because that's your vehicle, that's how you're going to live your life, it's going to define the quality of your life, because if you don't have your health, your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health, um, life can be very difficult or it can be amazing if, if all those three things are really well taken care of you feel great I take lots of different supplements and it also just depends the time of the year of what type of supplements that I need but mostly I take um, lion's mane which is a great uh, supplement for my focus it's like mushroom blend um, I love uh, edelberry syrup because I always like to boost my immune system and Gaia makes it, Gaia Herbs makes it a uh, gummy form, which I love, but they also make the syrup form, so I make jello with it, which is delicious. And then I, turmeric, I always take turmeric because it's great for inflammation. And I like the turmeric supreme because it's extra strength and that I take all the time too. Um, I take vitamin D3, vitamin C, but I, I eat a lot of oranges, so I think that's great. I actually prefer to have my vitamins you know, if I can, from foods. But since our food is so depleted in vitamins, unless you have really good organic food or you're growing your food, you always need to supplement because then you just get more of it. And it's very important what type of supplements you take because not all supplements are made equal. Some supplements are made, I don't even know where, the most important thing is the soil because everything that's in the soil goes into the plant, which then goes into your body when they process it, right? And make it into the vitamins. So it's very, very important where you get your your supplements from. Um, and this is why I love Gaia Herbs because quite frankly, they've been around for 35 years and they're the only ones that have really kind of proven over and over again of their highest quality and transparency in everything they do. And I visited their farm. Sempre que eu posso pro Brasil, eu amo, né? E agora que eu quero... Tem tantos lugares no Brasil maravilhosos que eu não conheci ainda, sabe, gente? É muito lugar lindo no Brasil. Então, assim, eu tenho uma lista gigantesca de todos os lugares que eu quero ir. Então, me aguarde, Brasil, que eu tô cara aí vez indo mais pra visitar o nosso lindo país. One thing that always works is whenever we have anybody congested at the house, I just boil some water, put some eucalyptus essential oil, put a towel over my head and just breathe you know it's it's close your eyes you know i always tell the kids close your eyes because the eucalyptus is super strong but just give deep inhales and and it becomes like clears everything out it's amazing and also like a hot when you put hot water in a bowl and you put your feet in there and you also put some aromatherapy stuff in there depending on what you're dealing with but usually peppermint or eucalyptus that also helps when you have colds another one that i love is whenever the kids are coughing if there's too much coughing going around I cut some onions and then I put a little in the bedroom right next to their bed into a little plate. And I don't know, somehow that works. It just helps with the cough. Also rubbing. Muito obrigada por dividir isso comigo. Fico muito feliz que o livro tenha te ajudado. Eu fiz com todo o meu amor. Eu escrevi ele com a intenção de, de dividir um pouquinho que todos nós vamos passar por dificuldades e que na vida tudo é simplesmente uma, é uma estação, né? Como tem o verão, o inverno a primavera, é a nossa vida é assim também, a gente tem ciclos, a gente de vez em quando está em cima da montanha russa, mas de em quando a gente está embaixo da montanha russa, e eu acho que essas emoções que a gente sente, que são diárias, um, se a gente dá, onde a gente colocar nossa atenção é o que vai crescer, é, é muito importante a gente sempre se lembrar disso, mas é importante a gente sentir também todas as emoções e também saber que elas são passageiras, nada é permanente, né? Então saber que tudo que é bom ou ruim passa, 
Então, o mais importante é a gente um, saber disso e esco fazer escolhas na nossa vida que suportam a nossa... que, 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 que nos ajudem a, a, a gente se sentir bem, se sentir... Yes, I love fasting. I actually think it feels really good. Um, I like to eat dinner early, usually around 6.30, 7 o'clock at the latest, because then I can fast all morning until noon when I have lunch again. I feel like that's the best time for fasting. Um, and it's also the easiest for me. I don't do it all the time. Like I feel like it depends how I'm feeling. If I, sometimes I do it twice a week, sometimes I do it three times a week, sometimes I do it once a week. It just depends of if I'm traveling, if I'm not, but I love fasting. I really feel like it's great. But also I think it's really important to eat earlier than later because I noticed for myself If I eat too late, I can't sleep well. It's very important uh, to me to eat earlier. So seven o'clock will be the latest. I mean, sometimes, of course, there's a birthday party, something that, you know, I go eat later, but typically I like eating earlier. I do a lot of things. I enjoy moving my body. So for me, I love Pilates. I love yoga. I started doing weight training, which I think is great. Um, I do Jiu Jitsu. I love kayaking. Uh, rock climbing, paddle boarding, swimming, horseback riding, beach tennis, play volleyball with my daughter, she loves that. Uh, horseback, I don't know, I, I kind of do pretty much everything that I can when I can, surfing, it just depends on where I am. But mostly when I'm, and when I'm traveling, I usually just do yoga and I bring my bands and I just do some band work because I can do it in my room. But I love Pilates. I think it's one of the best exercises. And I also love Jiu Jitsu because it helps me with my focus and it really helps me feel empowered and feel like I, you know, I can fend for myself, which I think is always an empowering feeling. But I just love moving my body. I love all exercises, really. Oh yes, crystals. I love crystals. I don't know who loves crystals, me or my mom more. My mom used to give me crystals every birthday. I got crystals from my mom. I have a huge collection, it's been, I don't know, 20 or 30 years getting Chris, Christmas and birthdays. Um, always, you know, we share that love for crystals and, and uh, it's just so special to me. You know, the, I, I believe that they carry a, a very special energy. It's always like, I'm always cleaning my crystals in the, in the new moon and pulling them outside in the full moon so they can be energized. I really believe in the power of, of crystals and, and I love them. C'est difficile pour que Paris, c'est très bon pour manger en Paris. Hein? Puis je pense que Café Angelina, c'est magnifique pour que le hot chocolate, c'est incroyable et le pain de chocolat, c'est incroyable. Donc je pense que Café Angelina, c'est le mieux, je pense, pour moi. <laughs> Some of my favorite snacks are Barubar, which is very high in protein. I love the cashew nuts with harissa, they're so yummy and they also the almonds uh, with rosemary and sea salt. They, they're all in my book. If you buy Nourished, all of those recipes are in my book. And I always have them in handy because I feel like, I feel like when I have snacks, I like to, them to be high in protein because I work out every day and I, I feel like I like to get extra protein in me. But also if it's a hot day, there's nothing better than like a cold watermelon or a delicious smoothie or I don't know, I love citrus, so oranges and tangerines. I love fruit, so I also like a cold, yummy fruit for snack. Exercise is number one, because for me, if I don't do my daily routine of exercise, I feel like I don't have the same energy, I don't have the same clarity of mind. So that's huge, meditation is huge for me. Even if it's 10 minutes, it makes a huge difference. Um, ashwagandha gummies, it's amazing because it really helps, I feel, to kind of calm me down. And I would say also putting my feet on the earth, just being bare feet on the earth, it's incredible what it does. It just calms me and it helps me ground. You know, just get up in the morning, go into any little patch of grass, take off your shoes and just breathe and release anything that no longer serves you and, and take all the things you need, all the energy you need for your day. It's just amazing, I love it. I am so happy you loved it. You know, it was made with so much love. It was one of those projects that came from the heart. You know, I feel the information there, it's so important because it's, 
everything starts on the soil. And it's so important for us to understand how everything happened, you know, how we have so much herbicides and pesticides, how that our farming went from, you know, a very healthy way of farming to the way we farm today and how monoculture is very destructive and how in order for us to have a very healthy soil, which is so our foods can have all the right nutrients, we need to have, you know, a different type of agriculture. And I think the movie shows very simply how that is done. So, and how we can regenerate the soil that already has been depleted and bring back the life to the soil and bring back the, the life to, to our food, you know, which is what gives us. Muchas gracias. Para mí también me gusta mucho Costa Rica. Hace años que yo voy a pasar las vacaciones ahí porque me parece muy similar a Brasil, tiene la misma naturaleza, eh, las personas son buenísimas, eh, me gusta mucho también el gallo pinto, eh, el, el Costa Rica es increíble. Yo creo que mi mantra, él puede mudar, pero siempre always do your best, ese siempre está lá, porque yo acredito que a gente puede estar siempre intentando mejorar, siempre dando nuestro mejor, y eso hace a gente se sentir bien cuando a gente da nuestro mejor, entonces, always do your best. Acho que seria um, um bom contra para mim. Eu acho que para combater a ansiedade não existe nada mais importante que a respiração. A respiração, se você nota, quando você está ansioso, você não respira, você, tá, você segura a tua respiração, você fica... Então é muito importante você respirar e você perceber quando, seu, quando você está entrando naquela energia de ansiedade que você pare e você pode fazer o alternate nostril breathing, eu tenho que é inhale, uma narina, Excel pela outra e continuar alternando uma e a outra. Eu tenho no meu Instagram, eu tenho lá o Alternate Nostril Breeding, então é bom ver, se você quiser. E também o que é muito importante, ou tem uma mais fácil também, que você quiser é só inspirar quatro vezes e expirar seis ou oito vezes. O importante é que a expiração seja mais longa que a inspiração, que daí você consegue acalmar o seu sistema nervoso, isso é muito importante. Yes, I do. I, I, I do believe everything happens for a reason, even though if at the moment you don't really know what the reason is, you don't know why, after a while, time just shows you why all that's happening. What I do believe is that everything is happening for us, everything is happening for our growth. I mean, I did a whole chapter about that on my book lessons. It was challenges are opportunities in the skies. It was the chapter. And, and I really believe that because I believe all the challenges we face in life and every person face challenges, no matter who you are, we all have to face challenges and, and challenges is what makes us grow. If we didn't have those challenges, we wouldn't really expand and grow and learn. So I, I believe that everything happens for a reason and everything is happening for our growth.